Here's 10 tips I bet you didn't know about ARC. If you watch this video in the first seven days that it's released, there is a bonus tip at the very end of the video, so make sure you watch all the way to the end. If your character has to poop in the game, your food will decrease faster. You can tell you have to poop when your food bar is a little bit grayed out compared to the rest of your stats. If you want to force your character to poop in order to minimize the decrease on your food bar, just hit the plus button on your keyboard. Hitting the plus button is how you poop an arm. But hold on, because here's tip number two. Having a food bar that's not all the way full is beneficial to you because whenever you eat cooked meat, it heals your health, but only if it actually fills your stomach. What does that mean? It means that if you have a full food bar and you eat cooked meat, it will not heal you. What does that mean? It means it's not a bad thing to have your food bar not all the way up. Meaning that if you have full food, let yourself need to poop, let that food bar decrease. In fact, never poop, let that food bar always decrease faster. And that way you can heal yourself more often. Tip number three, honey can have its DK timer reset if you equipped it to a fishing rod, any fishing rod, a primitive fishing rod. Have you ever made a primitive fishing rod? It's very easy. It takes hardly any resources, all the basic resources, super simple to make, just make a fishing rod. Put your honey on the fishing rod, and then put a new honey on the fishing rod, and then put a new honey on the fishing rod, and then each time you put a new honey on the fishing rod, the old honey comes off the fishing rod with a full DK timer. In the past, this was really only useful for fishing and maybe for making veggie cakes, but now it is extremely useful even to the players that have barely anything in the game because one of the first tames you should be taming is the Andrew Sarkis, one of the new tames on the new map, Fjordur. The Andrew Sarkis is tamed with honey and you throw honey on the ground, there's a mini game, blah, blah, blah. But anyways, if you want to maintain that honey in your inventory so you can tame more of them and not have to collect honey more often, put that honey to a fishing rod and it will never decay. There's been a dog barking in the background for the last 10 minutes and I'm waiting patiently in order to continue to record myself giving you guys really good art tips you haven't heard before. The dog is not super loud, but he's loud enough. While we're waiting for this dog to stop barking, you should like the video. It stopped. Speaking of Ark's newest map, Ark Fjordur, here comes tip number four. The three realms in Ark Fjordur, other than the mainland, that's Jotunheim, Asgard, and Vanaheim. All three of those realms have six times damage in the entirety of their realms. Guys, that's a big deal because if you build a simple base in any of those areas, it's gonna be six times damage. You can break a stone door with one grenade in those realms. So next time you build a little two by two stone base in order to hide your smithy and your first few forges and your fabricator, whatever it is, just know somebody can break into your entire base with one single grenade. So if you're gonna build a simple base like that in the open, it's probably best to do it on the mainland, not in one of those three realms. Tip number 55. Gotchas are extremely easy to tame and you can find them everywhere in Asgard and Vanaheim on the new map Ark Fjordur. Why does this matter? Because gotchas are extremely useful for taming Fjordhawks on the new map. Gotchas will have the exact same effectiveness for taming a Fjordhawk as a Fioma would, but are even more common than Fiomas, and Fiomas are pretty common in Ark. Gotchas are literally all over Asgard and Vanaheim. You can tame them with literally a few stacks of stone. You cryopod them up, you throw them out when you're ready to tame a Fjordhawk, and you kill them. And remember, throw them out and kill them one at a time, but but don't wait for your timer to go down because you can kill the gotcha a million times faster when it's thrown out with cryo sickness. Also, gotchas are extremely useful for large bases because they generate good resources if you find the good ones. So remember that gotchas are extremely useful and they're all over Fjordur. Tip number six. Organic polymer will insta-kill you if you eat it. Many players probably already know this, but many players probably don't think about the benefit of this. Why is this beneficial? Because the Fjordhawk, guys, the Fjordhawk is literally a teleportation device for your kit. There's two big reasons this is super useful and why the organic polymer is even more useful and is almost a necessity to have in your inventory at all times. If you're farming resources in Ark, you can use the Fjordhawk to allow yourself to get overweight, over encumbered to the point where you can't move, you can't carry the loot back and just continuously put all your resources you're farming in the one same location. When you're done farming, throw everything on the ground, whip it all up. Anyways, get it all in your inventory. You're obviously way too heavy to move, but you can just eat one single organic polymer for yourself. If your heart will carry all of that back to wherever bed you want to spawn in at, and all your resources will be right there back at base. Now here's the second reason you should always have organic polymer with you. If you get into a PvP fight and the other player is intelligent, which by the way guys, be intelligent. When you fight someone with a feared hawk, do this. Try to knock them out. Do not try to kill them. If you kill someone that has a feared hawk, their loot and their kit is all gonna fly away and you'll never see it again. So knock them out. So you can steal their kit, kill their feared hawk, and then kill them. But honestly, I mean, if you're being a nice guy, just steal their kit, don't kill their feared hawk. If you need to get them out of there, kill them. They have their feared hawk. Fjordhawks are a pain in the butt to tame, guys. We, you know, PvP is fine, but we don't have to be 
mean. We, we don't have to be toxic. Like we can let the feared hawk survive and just be like, hey, took your kit, but I left your feared hawk. Go get it, right? We could be nice. We could be nice. Anyways, you want to knock them out, steal their kit. Now, why do you have organic polymer with you all the time? Because if the enemy bowls you and starts pulling out a club, my suggestion, and this is just a suggestion, is don't continue to fight. Just just eat a polymer. I made the mistake of trying to 1v2 a couple guys who then had a third buddy that dropped in and then it was 1v3. And I kept thinking, oh, I'll be fine. I got a fear dog. I won't die. And if I do die, my kid will be saved. I can fight him. I'll win. Blah, 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 blah. And then they bullied me and I was like, eh, no problem. I'll fight him. And I wasn't paying attention. And the guy walked up behind me and knocked me out, not even with a club, with his fist. But I didn't have organic polymer on me. So guess what, guys? I got knocked out. And guess what, guys? I lost my whole kit. And I had a pretty good kit on me because I had a fear dog and I thought I'd be safe. Learn from my mistakes, guys. Always carry organic polymer and just kill yourself if you need to for a quick getaway or for an easy teleport when you're farming. Tip number seven. I literally just gave you guys tip number seven because I, I actually wrote 10 tips down on my, my notepad here. And uh, I said, fighting someone with a fear dog, try to knock them out with the other kit. If you simply kill them, you won't get anything. And I think I just told you guys all that. So tip number 7.2, like the video because it'll really help me out. And uh, you know, if, if you've learned anything new from this video, it really appreciate it. Tip number eight. When riding a saddled Androsarcus, so only when it's saddled. And remember guys, the saddle on an Androsarcus is a giant turret and you're all enclosed. You literally can't get picked off of the Androsarcus, which is also, I guess, tip number 8.1. You can't be picked off an Androsarcus when you're on a saddled Androsarcus. Hey guys, but tip number 8.2, when you're on a saddled Androsarcus and somebody net guns you, and you're netted, right? You can't move. You can't dismount that tank. If you were netted when you were riding a saddle in Andrew Sarkis, you're not automatically dismounted and you can't physically dismount. You're stuck in that tame. Kid you not. However, your Andrew Sarkis is not permanently stuck in that net. You can't escape. It's very easy. Just use the charge attack and you will zoom right on out of there. Tip number nine. I don't know why I'm saying the tips like this. It's just seemed like a good idea for one of them and I just kept going. Tip number nine, the Desmodus can land on a wall or a ceiling and remain invisible indefinitely. This is what it looks like. That was really lame, don't repeat that. Anyways guys, why is this useful? Well, if you ever need to go AFK in a random place, and I'm not talking about inside your base, just like a random location, you're, you're doing whatever you're doing on art, flying your bat around and you gotta go AFK. Now, I don't know about you, that happens to me all the time. I'm a little more of a casual player than probably most players. However, I randomly have to get up, I have to go do things, I got stuff to do, and uh, I gotta go FK. So what do I do? Well, I land my bat on the closest inconspicuous wall, try not to land in a, you know, like everyone sees that spot kind of thing. I go invisible, I came out so I can kind of see around me, and then I just kind of, I go AFK, I go, I go AFK. When I come back, I've always been there, never had an issue. So honestly, if you ever need to go AFK, Land that bat on a wall or ceiling, go invisible and uh, enjoy your break. Tip number 10. We are at the last tip, guys. We are at the end. Unless you're watching this in the first seven days. If you're watching this in the first seven days, there's a bonus tip at the very end, which by the way, guys, remember that for the future, I'm gonna start trying to release a little bit of bonus content in the end of all my videos for the people who watch in the first seven days. Kind of cool, you know, maybe subscribe, maybe put notifications on, maybe watch my videos in the first seven days. Look, the way I figure it, it helps me out because it gets the video that little boost to keep going. And I, I wanna help you guys out. I want, I wanna reward you for watching my video as soon as you see it up. And granted, all of you watching this video in the future, all my new videos might be like that too. So subscribe, notifications on, and uh, like the video too, it really help me out. Also, this is Dark from the Future, but leave me a comment down below if you have any tips to add to this, because I would love if everyone who had a really good tip for ARC that most people didn't know, left it in the comment down below. So that way, after you watch this video, you can go read the comments and be like, whoa, I learned like five more tips just from the comments. Got a good tip? Leave it in the comments down below. Even if you think it's a comment, just leave that tip down below and this can kind of be like a database and a, a reference for players to get all sorts of good arc tips after they watch this down in the comments. Tip number 10, Fjord Hawks will not drown underwater if they are on your shoulder. Now, I'm pretty sure this is due to a long-term bug with shoulder pets and I'm pretty sure this is true actually for all shoulder pets, but I don't actually know that 100% could be wrong that could have been patched at some point but at the very least fjord hawks will not die underwater when they're on your shoulder why is this important well you can swim freely underwater with your fjord hawk on you don't have to worry about throwing your fjord hawk and risking your kit just because you're underwater just take your fjord hawk with you just make sure you don't accidentally throw it off and you should be golden bonus tip number 11 for everyone watching there are lots of players in arc and some of them are better than others take this guy for example he might just be the best arc player ever and trust me 
we can all learn a lot from how he plays this game. So if you want to be the best possible art player that you can be, check out this video here. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. My name is Dark, and I will see you next time.